Hello again everyone, uh, I know it's been a while from a tutorial but now I'm going to show you about lighting. Now before I continue, if I didn't show you in the textures, in the textures tutorial, how to import shaders, no default, you just go down to shaders and then you've got this, you've got a good list of all different types which is pretty self explanatory, they're all categorised. Well here we've got a sphere, now there's, no, there's a default light called a light one as you can see here um we're just going to delete that and uh so lighting can really come out we're going to put in a plane and we'll put a basic shader on that so let's change it to say a red plastic and now we're gonna i'll show you a test render what it's like without anything any lighting See, no, nothing really affects it. Now, to speed up rendering, I'm just going to change the backdrop to black. Because I, have, I currently have a realistic sky on, so let's just change it. I'll change background to colour. Now, uh, you don't need to know any of these things yet. I'll talk about that later. So, first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to want to import a light. So, here, you've got this little spotlight, and you've got all different categories. You've got spotlight, which is a spotlight. Bulb, which is, which is more of a spherical lighting, and you've got distant light, which is almost it's similar to sunlight, and it's no, it's not a source of light; it's just a direction of light, so it covers a whole scene. And you've got moonlight, which is the moonlight, sunlight, as I said, like the distant light, only sun, only the sun's visible, and you've got tube light, which is quite hard to explain. So we're not going to go into detail about the tube light because it's you don't really need that yet. Just delete that. Um, and then you've got your shape light, which will like let's say you want a shape of a D only in light. You could do that type of thing, and anything glows, which is again quite self-explanatory. And you'll see how it goes. See, nothing has happened. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll put in a distant light because I think that's the best to work with. the spotlight because I think that's the best to work with for now. Now uh, here it comes out as a little triangle. Sorry not a triangle, a uh, pyramid. And as you can see you can rotate it. And you see all the little uh, circles and little points. And this is basically the change light direction. And then over here you have your settings for the brightness. Now let's change our views. Now the shortcut is 1, 2, and 3, and 4, or you can go up here. So let's change it to, we'll do 3 views. Let's just close that box. Ah, uh, I see you've got one for top. So change that one to left. Change this one to top. And just keep this as camera 1. So we're going to show you how the, it affects, how this light will affect that sphere. So, in fact, let's just change the view a lot. But if you if you find it easier, which it can be in t in terms, because uh, the whole uh, depth of field can be quite confusing in 3D programs. Right, so let's change the direction of light. So let's say the light source is coming from, say, over here. I'm just going to shine down towards the object, so let's rotate it like that. And you can see how it's working there. And uh, I'll show you a test render of it now, and show you how it looks like. You can see, it's quite, it's a, it's quite a basic uh, light, and it's really easy to do. So let's get more advanced into it now. Here we can change the colour and the brightness, so usually you want to turn the brightness down a wee bit, so it's DE6. And you can do all different colours, so I'll show you the difference between a white light, which is normal brightness, and we'll put in, let's say, a green light. And you see how it sort of makes it darker, so here, let's just stick with white. Now here you've got all these different tools that determine the light, so here you have half angle, which will de determine how much of a point it's going to be. And it 
kind of changes the range of the light. Then you've got angular fall off. Not, uh, see how could you explain that? Well, the angular fall off is similar to the half angle, except it's going to change how, uh, how much light's going to be in the center. And then you've got range fall off, which basically doesn't really do much. Now, here you've got cast shadows. Now, you, you definitely need to make sure that's ticked, or else it'll result in just no shadows, depending on what you want to do. As you can see, it looks quick, because there's no shadows. And then you've got shadow intensity, which just intensifies the amount of shadowing. Well, let's just keep that one light in. And uh, we'll make it a bit bigger. So if you want to make it bigger, just hold an S or scale over here. And make it a bit bigger if you want. So let's just keep it like that. Now let's insert a bulb. Like That's the next one I'll show you. Now we'll show you how a bulb works. Now this usually only works if you're creating a scene with walls, but... Uh, it still sort of works and it kind of gives a light around in a bulb feel. It's not a direction of light, so I'll show you how that works. Uh, well, first of all, let's let's actually um, so let's, let's delete that light for now, so you can see this light. And you see it's as you can, as you can see around here. You've got you can see where it is coming from as the center. Uh, if you want to rotate it upwards, it'll affect it differently. And uh, it's similar here. You've got the brightness, you've got the range fall off, and the shadow intensity. Um, I'll show you two more lights. I'll show you the distant light, which is probably one of the most useful. In terms for outdoor scenes night, uh, all right. Now I've got our distant light here, and uh, let's say I want the direction to be like this, and uh, it really doesn't matter where you put it because it's just one direction of light. It's a global lighting, so even if you put it here, it's not going to look any different if I put it there. So but let's put it here as a realistic point of view. And you've got the brightness again and the color of the light. So let's have a preview of that. And you can see the shadow. Not that hard. Not hard to master. Uh, so uh, one more light I'll show you is sunlight. Uh, but the thing is we can't really do sunlight because of the black background. So let's skip that out. Um, basically these are all different lights. Um, just experiment with them yourself. Uh, light is really important in a scene because it's going to give it that feel. So uh, this was just a short tutorial showing you the basics of lighting. Next up we'll do basic animation. Thanks for watching.